linked list representation of matrix. We have seen that matrix representation has the drawback that insertion and deletion operations on a graph are not efficient. Further, matrix representation would be wasteful from storage viewpoint if a matrix is sparse. Strictly speaking, we say that a graph is sparse if it contains fewer than n log n edges, where n is the number of vertices. An alternative representation that uses linked list is more efficient for the sparse graph. In the linked list representation, there are different ways of showing relationship among the graph elements. A common approach is to use a linked list for a set of vertices which are adjacent or neighbors of a given vertex. Thus, in general, if there are n vertices, the list representation would consist of n linked lists, one for each vertex. Further, in order to provide access to each list, each vertex must be accessible by a head pointer. The set of linked list is referred to as adjacency list. Consider, for example, the graph shown in figure. A cross in the link part of a node represents a terminal node of a list. The order of edges in a list can be different. For example, in the first linked list vertex, D can also precede vertex C. The operations of insertion and deletion of edges can be easily performed on the linked list representation. A new edge can be added by inserting tail node in the relevant link list. An edge can be deleted by removing a node from the list. However, insertion or deletion of vertices is quite complex. In order to remove a vertex, we would not only need to delete the entire linked list corresponding to the vertex being deleted, but also remove all the edges in other lists which are linked to the vertex. This would involve scanning of all the linked lists to find if there is an edge to be deleted. List-based implementation of graph. In order to implement a graph using a list approach, we define two classes called vertex and graph list. The class vertex specifies the structure of a vertex. The specification for the class graph list is shown in figure. It is composed of an array of pointer V, which stores head pointers for each of the linked lists, and it includes the following methods. Add vertex to insert a new vertex to the graph. Del edge to remove an edge from the graph. Add edge to insert a new edge between a pair of given vertices. Get vertex to return the index number of vertex. Display to print the graph. Click here to run interactive demonstration for list-based implementation of a graph. Traversing graphs. In traversing a graph, we visit every vertex to extract information contained in vertices and edges. It is ensured that each vertex is visited only once and that no vertex is left out. There are two standard methods for traversing a graph. These are referred to as depth first search and breadth first search. As with trees, we can use recursive or iterative procedure for traversing a graph. The iterative procedure uses auxiliary data structure such as stack and queue to store vertex data as the graph is traversed. The saved information is then popped and processed in appropriate sequence. Sometimes we use special terminology to identify the processing step. A vertex which is to be pushed to a stack or queue is said to be in ready state. When the vertex is placed in the stack or queue, it is said to be in wait state. Finally, when the vertex is 
popped off, it is said to be in the process state. Obviously, all visited vertices are in the process state. We now examine the algorithms for the depth first search and breadth first search. Depth first search. In depth first search, we start with some arbitrary vertex, say x, and process it. Then, we push all neighbors of x, say x1, x2, x3, onto the stack. We pop the stack to process x1 and push all neighbors of x1, say x11, x12, x13, onto the stack. This procedure is continued until all vertices are processed. The vertices that are processed are marked as visited. The algorithm for depth first search consists of following steps. Step 1. Initialize all vertices and mark it as unvisited. Step 2. Select an arbitrary vertex push it onto the stack. Step 3. Repeat step 4 and 5 until stack is empty. Implementation of depth first search algorithm. In order to implement the depth first search algorithm, we define a class which includes the graph traversal algorithm together with the methods for creating and displaying a sample graph. Figure shows the structure of the class named graph list. It uses two external classes called vertex and stack. The graph itself is implemented as a linked list. Observe that the class includes following private members. A pointer array vertex of size max which holds pointers to the graph vertices. An array VI of logical values which shows whether or not a vertex is visited. A stack SK which is used to handle vertices in weight state. The class methods are as follows. Add vertex inserts a new vertex into the graph. Add edge creates a new edge between a given pair of vertices. Disp prints a linked list representation of graph. DFS implements the depth first search algorithm. Push ADJ handles vertices which are in weight state. Get index is an auxiliary function to obtain index of a given vertex. Click the button to run the interactive program for the implementation of depth first search algorithm.